like a bird on the wire, like a drunk in a midnight choir. I have tried in my way to be free. Like a worm on a hook, like a knight from some old fashion book, I've saved all my ribbons for thee. If I I have been unkind I hope that you can let it go by If I If I have been I hope that you know it was never to you. Hey, how you doing? Justin here today. We are checking out Bird on a Wire by Leonard Cohen. Fantastic. Very, very simple song, this one. Just got that one bar chord in there, which makes it good for an intermediate thing to get used to. Your regular open chords jump into the bar chord. It's in 6-8 time, so you can t keep the kind of strumming real simple to just six down strums in the bar, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That will sound cool. I quite like 1, 2, and 3, 4, 5, and 6. 1, 2, and 3, 4, 5, and 6. And just putting a little upstroke. Now I'm just using my thumb here for this tune. You can use a pick. The pick will sound great. The outside of the thumb thing, kind of, it's a little bit rounder sound, a little bit mellower sound, which I think works nice for this. A lot of people play it finger style though too. It's in 6-8, so you've got that nice little pattern where you're doing thumb, index, middle, uh, ring finger, middle, index, to get this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you could do it finger style as well. That works really great. There are many covers of this song, so it's definitely worth uh, typing in Bird on the Wire into YouTube and checking out some of the different versions and working out which is the one that you'd uh, like to have a go at. Uh, so let's have a look uh, through the chords. Uh, so we're starting off with an A chord, like an A on the E, like an A in the midnight D, I have A. In my E to be A, A sus4 and back to A. You can add a sus2 at the end as well if you like, but then it's back to A on an E, like an A from some old fashioned D. I have A all my E. A sus4 and then to A and then A sus2 if you want and then to D if I D chord again if I have been on A and A chord again to B minor to bar just let it go A for two bar and then where to D if I, D, if I have been on A, the two bars again, the B minor, but you know, it was a second bar, it was never for E, E sus4 to E, like an A, and we're back at another verse, and that's the whole song. Just repeats the same sequences all along So it'll be a pretty easy song for you to learn 
that's it. That's the tune. It's a really nice one. You've just got that jump onto the B minor chord. So for those of you that are just kind of entering your bar chords thing, that's probably going to be the bit that you need to kind of work on a little bit. It's going from A to B minor. So if you're struggling with the change from A B to B minor, stick it into the kind of your one minute changes thing and just sit there for one timed minute trying to do as many of those different, you know, the changes between those two chords as you can. It's definitely the best way to exercise a, a, a difficult chord change. I already mentioned quickly the finger style thing, so uh, a really important thing to remember with this tune is that you don't have to be really strict with the finger picking pattern. In fact, it kind of sounds a bit better if you're not. So the most basic pattern would be just doing this thumb, one, two, three, two, one. Right, so the thumb would be playing the bass note of the chord each time. Fingers one, two, and three are on the thinnest three strings, and you're just going first finger, second finger, third finger, second finger, first finger. That's your picking pattern. But it doesn't have to be that all the time. You generally want to keep that bass playing on beat one. But otherwise you could go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, or one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. It can be anything that you want, really. You can experiment. It's a, it really sounds a lot better in this particular tune if it's kind of weaving a little bit and not being quite so pattern orientated. Also with the little ASUS 4 bit, um, Now what I'm doing for that part is I'm using my thumb sometimes at the same time as the fingers, because it doesn't have to be thumb, one, two, three, two, one. It could be thumb and third finger together, two, one. You could do that. You can really, there's loads of different ways of approaching it. On that little sus. That kind of pattern works nice. But you, you know, experiment and see. See if you can find a really nice little pattern that works nice over that little A sus kind of turnaroundy bit at the end of the lines. It's um because that's the kind of thing that's gonna make the tune a little bit your own. And that let's face it, this is exactly the kind of tune that's a nice one to cover because you can, you know, experiment and do it your own way as well. Uh, I hope you enjoy playing this one. See you for another lesson or song very soon. Take care of yourselves, bye-bye. <laughs>